So elegant. So calm and prestigious. These bugs, they're so peaceful. What could ever go wrong if you encounter these bugs? You're a human. They're completely harmless. And they're Mother Nature's eagles. But when you're a fly, imagine you're a fly and you encounter one of these bugs and you think to yourself, they will not harm me. They will fucking fly up, af fly after you and rip you up to shreds. Yeah, these bugs don't fuck around. So, so, yeah, these dragonflies and robber flies, they fucking slaughter. Today on the Who and Win series is between the southern hawker dragonfly and the robber fly. Two of the most notorious hunters ever and they have one of the most highest success rates when it comes to hunting <clears throat> no southern hawkers they live in north america they can be up to around two to four inches in length with a one half with an inch long wingspan and yeah they live in north america robber flies on the other hand they have a wingspan up to around like Robber flies, they live in North America, they can be up to an inch long. No, they can be up to one and a half inch long, inches long, and they have a wingspan to around like 15 millimeters. They also live in North America. But the question is, who is the best bug hunter when it comes to aerial ace? Let's find out. Robber flies. Mandibles versus mandibles. The mandibles of the robber fly are strong, but not as strong as that of the, as the southern hawker. Huge um, dragonflies. You know, dragonflies have been known to take down like other flies. For example, like just flies, butterflies, damselflies. And even fucking hummingbirds. Robber flies, on the other hand, they've been known to eat dragonflies, and the dragonflies have been known to eat robber flies. But it's a back and forth battle, and these two bugs actually fight each other in the wild. Well, rarely, that's on rare occasions. Because they both have hunting styles, both different hunting styles. Just like the lion and the tiger. Both completely different creatures, yes, and yet they're both predators, and they both have different hunting styles. Lions are more are more like chasers. They they mostly chase their prey, just like the dragonfly. Tigers, on the other hand, are more ambush hunters, just like the robber fly. It's a back and forth battle. There's lions. There's reports of lions killing tigers and tigers killing lions, and then there's dragonflies killing. Robber flies or robber flies hunt, hunting dragonflies. But I'm here once and for all to tell you who would win a fight between a southern hawker dragonfly and the robber fly. So, yeah. So, yeah, when it comes to the mandibles, the, dragon, the southern hawker gets the advantage. Because of its like much more se severe biting power, the sun. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to the X factors. Southern hawkers, they're really fast and agile in the air, but and yeah, they can take down huge freaking prey. And plus, even at an early age, when they start off in the water, even at an early age, they're one of the most successful hunters out there. Now, robber flies. Robber flies, they're not as good flyers, but they're still pretty good and agile in the air. Like I said, it's like the lion and tiger situation. Mm-hmm. No. It's, yeah, they both have different hunting techniques, but there's, but they're both predators. But, yeah, in the end, X factors go to the Southern Hawker. Now, speed makes that speed. 
Dragonflies get the speed advantage because of their higher maneuverability and they're a lot more have a lot more agility in the water. I meant in the in the air and they're better flyers since you know robber flies they're not really flyers and and they only they they barely fly they mostly just walk and plus they only fly for to hunt or to escape from predators so yeah strength they're tied because both of these bugs use their own like use their their long legs to catch their prey Brains is tied because they both have different hunting techniques. Robber flies are a little bit more aggressive since they will actually attack humans. And defense goes to the dragonfly. Wait. Wait. Oh, they actually have a proboscis. Robber flies have a proboscis. Oh yeah, even even if they have a proboscis and not mandibles, the dragonflies' jaws are a lot more effective than that. The proboscis of the of the robber fly. <coughs> Anyways, let's fight. The dragonfly is just zooming along. He's in the he's in the he's in the air. You know, he's just zooming and zooming, trying to look for something to eat. Southern hawkers and the uh, robber fly then meet eye, con- meet eye contact. No, okay, so the southern hawker swats the, the robber fly and goes towards it. And flies towards it. The robber fly, he's just resting, you know. He's on this little green stick that's in between two sticks. And he's just staying there, not doing anything. And out of nowhere, he gets caught off guard when the southern hawker, wham! He just slams into him and grabs him and starts chowing down. The robber fly tries to throw him off, but he's just too big. Yes, they're at their maximum size. Then they both clash in the air, trying to grab each other and get in the hold of each other. The robber fly grabs onto the southern hawker's tail and st- or abdomen and starts injecting like juices into the... Dragonfly. The southern hawker throws the the um, the, um, the robber fly off of him and dives and dive bomb towards dive bomb dive bombs towards him like a peregrine falcon. The robber fly is spinning out of control and then Disney gets cut by the the dragonfly, but he's not. But he's getting chowed down in the head right now. The robber fly can't do anything, and then. And then the dragonfly lands on a lands on that same green stick and finishes him off there with a slip decapitation move. <laughs> Ripped off. The dragonfly is victorious and starts eating his prey. It dies a day later from the poison injected from the robber robber fly. The winner is the southern hawker. So verdict. I think this. I say the southern hawker dragonfly wins around like fifty two percent of the time. It's just a lot more faster and better weaponry. But I do believe that this <coughs> this fight could go either way. It's like the lion and tiger situation, ambushing and chasing. If the if the robber fly saw the dragonfly first, then probably it would win most of the time. But the dragonfly saw the robber fly first. It would go either way. It's either it's an either way battle, and I put I thought it will be a really close one. So, but leave your leave your suggestions down in the comments down below if you want me to do your battle, and tell me who do you think would have won this fight the southern the southern hawker dragonfly, or the or the what or the robber fly. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe. Bye bye.